Scheltzke is the leading innovator in grout mixing and pumping plants. George Scheltzke founded Scheltzke in Germany in 1995, with the first plant models coming out in 1997. Currently, there are over 120 different models. Mr. Scheltzke has over 35 years of experience, and it shows in his innovative product line. The company recently expanded its facility to meet the growing popularity of the diverse product line, which includes grout plants, jet grout pumps, chemical injection pumps, mixers, agitators, and much more. In Europe, most of the units are run electrically because the owner provides free electric power, while in the USA, most units are powered predominantly by diesel engines. Three options are offered, manual, semi-automatic, and fully automatic. The manual unit is about 15% cheaper to purchase than the fully automatic, but fully automatic saves costs to such an extent that the entire grout plant can pay for itself in two years. This makes the automated version a cheaper long-term option and the most popular choice in the US market. How does it work? A high-speed colloidal mixer is hanging suspended in a U-shaped frame under a load cell that weighs the entire mixer. A control panel allows the user to input the total weight of the grout that is to be made per mix. The water tank is set to the weight of the water needed. The water tank has markings in weight and volume with a sight glass and a swimmer with three sensors attached. Water fills the chamber until it reaches the upper full sensor and dumps water into the mixer upon demand. In between these two sensors is the auger feeder activation sensor which activates the auger feeder to dump cement into the mixer. The auger feeders, also controlled and powered by the grout plant, dumps the remaining powder to fulfill the preset total mix weight. The Scheltzke grout plant has a timer for mixing times that can be preset for the mix. After that mixing time lapses, the mixer then pumps the mix into a holding tank called an agitator. A filter box is there to catch hard, cured cement chunks that might come from the silo, so they do not cause problems for the pump intake or for jet nozzles on tooling. The agitator can hold three complete mixes. It slowly rotates the mix to stop it from setting and keeps the particles suspended. It has an ultrasound sensor that monitors and controls the volume of the mix in the agitator. In automatic mode, when the agitator is full, it stops the mixer from mixing another batch. The grout plant will dump water into the mixer and wait for the signal to turn on the auger feeder once more grout is needed in the agitator. The agitator and the mixer both have variable speed hydraulic motors, so the speed can be set depending on what is mixed. To accommodate many different mixes, the Scheltzke plants have typically two silos, and even up to three upon request. They also have a port for fluid mix to be added to the mixer. Very small fluid amounts, too light to weigh accurately, can be added with a flow meter. The Scheltzke grout plants are controlled by a wireless remote control by the operator of the drill rig, or with other personnel if there is more than one rig operating off the same plant. Once the operator activates the pump via the remote control, the mix level in the agitator starts to drop to a given point 
and then the mixer mixes another batch. This means that an operator is needed only to start the grout plant and to clean at the end of the day. The use of silos or big bags result in fewer injuries, skin burns from cement, less cement dust, and lower cost of bulk cement versus bag cement. In addition, fully automated systems create higher production and less waste. Multiple silo and powder options also make the system more flexible. If small quantities need to be made at the end of a job, these can be done manually with cement bags. The pump can pump just water as well. This means you can drill with water for tiebacks and micropiles and use the same pump to grout. The pump can create up to 1750 psi pressure, so it can be used for post grouting as well. The dual piston pump sits vertically and is controlled via a radio remote. This wireless remote for the pump is backed up by a 300 foot wired cable roll in case of signal failure or interference. The remote control that is held by the drilling operator can control pump flow, determine if water or grout is pumped, and turn the pump on and off. If there is a complete remote control failure, the plant can still be run manually till a replacement is received the next day. The pump can easily be stripped in the field within two hours for resealing. The Scheltzke grout plant can also be programmed to produce a specific number of mixes or batches so that it does not overproduce at the end of the day. It counts the number of mixes per day so that the foreman can calculate how much powder is left in the silo. The grout plant can be instructed to pump a certain volume per hole in auto pump mode and then shut off the pump. The Scheltzke units come with a diesel over hydraulic power, making them very robust and easy to fix. The mixer, agitator and pumps are hydraulically driven. There is also a compressor and power washer on board that is hydraulically driven as well. The compressor activates all the valves and an extra holding tank is available to fluff the powder in a silo. To avoid leaving cement in the grout plant lines when cleaning, a single button to open all valves can be pressed and let water flush everything out. Quick disconnect pipes at the bottom of both mixer and agitator can be removed quickly to ensure no standing water or grout is left behind. Hammer and Steel stocks a large number of parts for the grout plants and has grout plants in its rental fleet to draw from if needed as a backup. The unit comes with a cartridge auto greaser to grease the pump plunger seals that keep the grout pressurized. A very detailed operator and spare parts manual is also included. The grout plant also comes with a complete toolkit for maintenance. Other features of the Scheltzke system include the automation works with hydraulic or electric powered auger feeders, 80% of parts are interchangeable within various models, the unit can come with electronic monitoring to record and monitor grout flow, pressure, duration, mixtures and much more. Applications of the grout plants include tiebacks, micropiles, soil mixing single columns, twin mix columns, triple mix columns, cutter mix columns, 
Vibro Piles. post grouting and tunneling, to name a few. If you don't need a fully automated grout plant with mixer, agitator and pump all in one, Scheltzke also makes standalone pumps, mixers or agitators. There is also options for a grout plant with a separate pump for higher flows or pressures, such as a mono pump or a jet grout pump or it can come with an extra large agitator for high volume pumping. The above grout plant options can also be combined by using a large extra agitator with two extra pumps or a third and fourth pump to supply larger volumes. The units are very modular. The smallest system pumps 3.8 gallons per minute while the largest pump pumps 227 gallons a minute. Scheltzke also supplies chemical injection plants. To see what range suits your application best, call us at Hammer & Steel.